Hello folks and welcome back to Return of the Rovers. I f***ed up. Big star f***ed up. No, not, not in the league. No, the league's fine. The league's fine. We're second. We're still in the automatic promotion spots. We're only two points behind Villa. That's fine. Not worried about that. No, what I'm, what I'm worried about, as the title of the episode may suggest, where we're going, we don't need roads. Back to the future reference. For those that are uninitiated. Jordan Rhodes went. I saw Mr. Rhodes' value depleting. He wasn't playing very well. In my infinite wisdom, I thought, I know. Come the end of the season, I'll sell him. Teams were interested in him and his value was dwindling. So I thought, I'll offer him out. This, I thought, this is a great plan. Offer him out for double what he's worth, which was eight and a half million. No one will pay that. Al Sad came in, offered the full money up front, no questions asked. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Although I've never understood what the f that means. Have a horse look in its mouth. So I thought, yeah, he'll go at the end of the season. That's fine. No, he went in February. So, yeah. A bit light in numbers up front. So he, he left a bit earlier than I expected, and also then I had to deal with the f squad mutiny and which they still haven't forgiven me over see rob hall causing all sorts of problems i thought he was supposed to be my brother from another mother but no he's a prick from another dick injuries have all of a sudden become a bit of a problem to key players ben marshall was already out injured anyway for a long period of time and it, it looks like he's not going to come back anytime soon oh three to five weeks we've got seven games of the season left nice one isaac hayden has got a a back fracture so again he's probably going to miss the rest of the season and he's been a great player for us even though he f***ing signed a new contract to Arsenal bastard and the newest addition to that injury list is Adam Henley so it means that Diego Lorente is going to get a, an extended run in the side as oh okay maybe not so since we last had the pleasure of each other's company which was the game against Watford which we sneaked a 1-0 victory at home we've had a number of fixtures and we've we've had a bit of a dip in form which kind of coincided with the injuries we had got absolutely pummeled by Middlesbrough and that was followed by the fifth round exit in the FA Cup against City a game we were never expecting to win we'd switched to a 4-4-2 to kind of compensate for the players that we'd lost and it hasn't really worked for us so in the last game against Bolton Risky move, I changed my tactic. I want Bamford to be the main goal scoring threat with him coming in from, cutting in from the right as he's left footed. Looking at the stats from the Bolton game, we had a lot of crosses coming from the left hand side and not a lot from the right, which is exactly what we're wanting. And most of the shots are inside the box and most of them were from Bamford. The false nine had the most key passes. So the front three is working exactly as I wanted. We've got seven games of the season left. Today's live com is against Wigan. Hopefully we can avenge that 2-0 loss at the DW Stadium or whatever the f*** it's called these days. But we've got a fairly tough run in for the end of the season where we're playing sort of mid-table teams. There's no one uh, other than Hudders Huddersfield are the lowest place team at the moment. Burnley are just outside the playoffs at the moment and Sheffield Wednesday are well inside the playoffs. So not the most ideal two fixtures should we need them come the end of this and I think we, it's so tight at the top between Aston Villa Rovers and Watford that I think we, it's going to come down to the wire potentially having this limbo state at the moment not knowing whether we're going to get promoted or not makes it more difficult for planning for next season I don't want to be signing players that are championship quality if we're going into the Premiership. I mean, financially, we're going to need to get promoted. There's no doubt about it. We are, we're still hemorrhaging money. I've that was one of the reasons why I sold Jordan Rogers because it was a big, a big lump off the wage budget and a big transfer fee for someone who wasn't really performing. Okay, so match day, which is unfortunately on April Fool's Day. So let's hope that Wigan don't make fools out of us. Or is it after twelve o'clock? I presume it's after 12 o'clock, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. David Rea in goal. Lorente at right back. Duffy and Hanley in the centre of defence with Olsen at left back. Corey Evans in the anchorman role with Ben Watson and Catan in midfield. Ah, ha, 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 hang on a minute. They're the wrong way round. Whoopsie. Bamford on the right. Rob Hall on the left. And Ivy up front on his own. We play better on control away. I'm thinking logi <laughs> logically. Um... Tenuous, yes, but if I can play on control away from home, why not play attacking at home when I'm expecting to attack? I'm expected to win. I did so much there. Although, oh, I thought that was... 
I'm fanning about changing the camera and we're missing chances left, right and centre. Okay, right, seven minutes in, we've had three shots, none on target, exactly what you want. Duffy across goal and, oh, cleared by Wigan. Maybe I need to slow it down because <laughs> I can't talk quickly enough to keep up with it. I'm too slow at talking, my brain cannot process it. And, uh, yeah, that went well. He does nothing to lose his marker um, and he just waves his hand in the air. Thanks. So, yet to have a shot on goal. Now, is that the tactic or is that the awful team talk? We've got a high pass completion rate though. Bamford though, can we break? He drives forward to Watson. Watson loot. Oh, f***ing hell, what is that? We're letting them in way too easily. Well, the defence seems to be really happy about doing f*** all. Hold to Watson. Hanley. Over to Olsen. Whips it in. Fuck for that. Oh, right, there's the equaliser. Rob Hall. Two bites at the same cherry, but then he finally stabs it home. Don't know what that's actually come off. Chest, it could have... Well, it's in, and that's what matters. It's going to be half-time, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Aggressive, I'm not happy. Calmly, I'm disappointed. Okay, calm. Calm seems to... Woosa! Oh, no, it's going wrong. It's going wrong again. Disappointed, but there we go. Okay, so calmly fired them up. Apart from Catan, who's just crying to his mummy. Why don't you f off back to Spain? 27 key passes, seven of which are to Wigan. The majority, 20, are ours. Where are they coming from? Where are they? Yeah, Wigan are playing them from deeper. Ours are sort of in and around the box. They're the sort of places you want to keep passes to be. So if we look at Wigan on that left-hand side, and that's Pudel, I think, although they might interchange. We're allowing him in by attacking. So I think if we drop him back to support, move the advanced playmaker slightly further up the pitch. Now he's not got the he's not got the greatest dribbling attributes. I'm just hoping that these three don't clash too much now. If, when we're looking at the the average positions they didn't seem to bar conceding that goal I'm reasonably happy about how it's going apart from the mm, do I drop it slightly deeper I'm gonna go for it can we see the changes we've made actually coming into effect as Hall drives down this left hand side Ivy not having the greatest game by the looks of it sort of flicking between a 6.6 .6 and a 6.7 it's not f***ing ideal is it Hall okay. oh Piss and off. The ball had been cleared. Why pe Why penalty? Grant Hanley, I could f***ing kill you right now. Ray gets close. But no, Grant Hanley is a f***ing cocksnot bastard. Bamford, though, to Ivy. It gets Rob Hall in. Can he play a ball into and Banford? Yes, there we go. In off the bar. What a great goal that was. Well, I wouldn't have. <laughs> we reply instantly, which is good. Look at that filthy cross to the far post. Banford pings it in off the underside of the bar. Questionable highlight jitter. Banford into Ivy. Watson. Overlap to Hall and he plays it. <sighs> See, we're getting in behind now. We are getting those chances, but at the expense of some defensive solidarity. Plays it out wide to Lorente. My voice is now going, which is excellent. Bamford plays it to Catan, to Watson, and Ivy are. Oh. <laughs> That's the third, another clear cut chance. Well, he's had an absolute shocker. He may create, but my word. I need to take Watson off as well. So we're going to have to rejig. Matthew Kilgallen's going to get a run out then because Grant Hanley, my word, you've had an absolute shit show. It's a bit late. Five minutes. What can you do? What can you do? Triple substitution. And the time's about over. This is going to be the last highlight, I think. Catan plays to Rob Hall. Plays to Lejahu down to the left, down the left flank. Cuts inside to Hall. Bam, back post. Could that be it? Could that be the goal? 20th goal of the season, Patrick Bamford, I don't care if it's offside, 
kick you in the face. That's a great cross. Rob Hall has been had a, an absolute stormer today. Well, that shows if... Oh, oh, bloody hell. Come on, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Don't... There we go. Felizahu takes on his man. Bamford gets wiped out. Come on. Well, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. So we've come from two goals... Well, not two goals down, but... We've turned it around twice to now go on to lead. Evans, Tfelejahu, Bamford with a speculative effort. You can't you can't question that. He's had a good game. He's got two. He wants a hat-trick. Why not? So, And this could be it. The final kick of the game. Duffy clears it to Catan. And that is it. Some inspired substitutions, I might add. I'm going to say it was a good win. It was a good win. Some questionable personal performances, such as Ivy's 6.1. That was mainly down to him missing opportunities and Grant Hanley with giving away a penalty. An 8.7 and a 9 from like nothing at half-time. We will take that. So where does that victory leave us? Still second. Still, We're, we're still two points behind Villa. Still two points ahead of Watford, so nothing really changes. Gotta love the sexual innuendos that football provides such as come from behind and pulled off the defender. Wanking references. And both us and Watford have confirmed our place in the playoffs, so objective one has been achieved. Another injury to add to the list. F***ing brilliant. So that brings the episode to a close. My word, my heart has just about caught up with itself. In the next episode, the live commentary we'll be featuring will be against our bitter, bitter rivals... Burnley the Dingles the big one basically everyone the big one we beat them at their place earlier in the season can we do the same at home you'll have to wait until the next episode to find out if you've enjoyed today's episode of Return of the Rovers then don't forget to tickle that like button for me just a little bit and if you want to see more of the same and be updated when I upload new videos then click that subscribe button so until next time folks it's goodbye from me thanks for watching